All right, somewhat quick video on how to replace the turn signal flasher relay in a Ford F-150 pickup truck year 2002. This is a four-wheel drive V8. As you can see, it's the Ford F-150 Triton V8. I believe the engine is the 5.4 liter, but I don't think that really matters. Uh, the reason for this project was the turn signals. The left turn signal here, when I put it on, would actually flash up here twice as fast as normal. That's an indication there's something obviously wrong or wrong with the electronics in the, uh, in the turn signals and lights. My forward turn signal worked, but it flashed twice as fast as normal. The rear turn signal did not work, and neither did the rear flashers. So after doing some internet research, we narrowed the problem, next problem down to the relay. First thing you'll want to check, though, of course, is make sure all the lights the bulbs and your lights are, are working correctly and if those are all good next you can check the fuses uh, with your Ford manual here the uh, trailer flasher switch is actually number 13 here and it's located up underneath the dash I already took the two covers off but it's right there next to the brake and hood and it's one of these top ones up here, it's number 13, but you can figure that out. Make sure that one's not burned out. If that's burned out, that might be your problem. Uh, I also checked the some of the other fuses, such as uh, the, the trailer. There's some uh, auxiliaries for the trailer, but I just basically checked everything to make sure it was good. All right, what you're going to be doing here is you're going to be looking for this little guy. This is the relay. You can read that part number on there, upside down. It's a Ford. TBB89. This is the turn signal flasher relay. Uh, first little hint here. This is the box for the new one. That's the old one. I would check your auto plates places first because this most of them did not stock this. In this case, Napa had it. Uh, many of the others didn't. So I would check first to make sure they have this in stock before you start start the project. Um, this little this little thing here is actually located up under the dash right back up under here so there's the steering column there's the key there's the ignition switch right where this little tray is is back underneath there you can't get to it underneath there without taking out this plastic piece that runs along here underneath there and you got to take this little cowling or plastic piece off that goes around that goes around the steering column there are three bolts that hold that on. In the rest of the video, I sometimes mistakenly call those screws. So when I say screws, I mean bolts. There's one underneath here, right here. There's another one down here, as you can kind of see right here, right there. And then there's another one over here, right there, underneath the uh, this piece. When you take this whole thing off, there's a little plastic bullet-shaped clip that goes in here that makes this hard to get off, but we'll talk about that later. The other thing is down in there, you'll need to take those covers off so you can get in here because there's two bolts down here on this metal piece in here that you'll need to take off too. You cannot take the whole piece off and take it out of the truck because the brake and the hood cables here keep this piece from being removed totally. Um, another quick... Um, Another quick tip is, I looked at uh, one of the maintenance manuals, and the photo on that maintenance manual was actually wrong. When, when you first get, when you get this panel off, the actual bracket, it's a square black bracket with a cap on it up underneath here. And when you first take that off and look up in there, you will not see this. You will see nothing but a black piece up there, and it's way up underneath. You have to first clip, unclip the cap and push it up to be able to see this. So if you see any pictures any place else or any other videos that show this thing just sitting up in there, that's not correct. There's a cap that goes over this. When you take that cap up, there's another relay that actually sits in front of this one right here. It's a smaller black one. So you got to pull that one out first to get to this one, and it's not real easy working up in there. And make sure you know which way it goes in when you take it out so you can put the new one in correctly. Um, I think that's it. Um, I will show you the tools you'll need, and I think that's it as far as uh, anything I can tell you about how this is done. Once again, the video is for the Ford 2002 F-150 pickup truck replacing the flasher relay, the flasher turn signal, turn signal flasher relay.
just another quick reminder, uh, replacing this module also will cure some of your other lights electronics problems. So this is not necessarily just a fix for the turn signals. It may fix other electronic problems with your lights, whether they're the turn signals, the flashers, or other. So you can look those up. Um, I'm not going to guarantee this works for anything else except the Ford F-150 2002 year model, because that's the model I have here, which is the, uh, once again, the V8. So it may work for other models in model years. It may not. I should say this, uh, this video and this piece here may be the same for other Ford, mo Ford models. It may not be. And you can do this project by yourself. You really don't need a second person to help you. All right, what tools will you need? Well, first of all, as usual, you need a lot of mental patience. But the tools you'll need actually is a, scru a screwdriver, preferably one that's not real big, flat head. You'll need a ratchet with two, uh, two sizes. You'll need a, 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 three, a 3 sixteenths, I'm sorry, not 3 sixteenths, a 5 sixteenths for the larger bolts on the metal down here, over here. And then you'll need a 9 30 seconds to get, the bolt, to get the screws off, I should say the bolts to go in the plastic cowling. Probably a flashlight so you can look up underneath there if you need to. And I believe that's all you're going to need with a lot of patience. All right, this is the beginning of the process. We're going to replace the flasher, the turn signal flasher relay. The turn signal flasher relay is actually over here. This is a Ford 2002 150 pickup truck. It is actually up underneath in here. In order to start, first thing I did was take off the uh, the panel here to get into where the fuses are. It just pops in here like that, and there's two clips up here on the sides. And then I also took the we don't have to, but I took the uh, the cover for the fuses out so you could get better vision to see what's going on here. Pop those out. And then this top cowling piece here that goes around, comes over here to this side, over here, it just pops off. So you get a screwdriver, just go right underneath there, be careful you don't scratch it, and it just pops up. And it's just a little uh, hole right there with a clip underneath. Same on the other side, you just kind of pull it around. Pop your screwdriver in there, be careful not to, not to make a mark, and just pop it up, and it just pops right out. Underneath there, you'll see two screws, there'll be one screw on this side, or I should say bolt right there, that's got to come off. There's also a bolt underneath here, right there, down at the bottom, and it goes in straight by the way, it's not on an angle, so when you get your wrench, so when you get your wrench here, make sure you put it in straight and not on an angle. And then there's another one over here by the dash or by the lights, which is right there. Same deal. Make sure you go in straight and not on an angle. That one, the one over here on the right side, and then I'm trying to remember where the other one is. There's the one down here. Up. So just to correct myself quick, there's three little bolts that hold this plastic piece in. There's one over here at the top, there's one down here, and there's one over here. Once you get those three out and you pop this piece out, and remember in here is that little bullet shaped pin, you can pull this off, but you can also, before you try that, make sure you go underneath here and loosen this one and this nut bolt. They're actually the next size up. I think they're 5 sixteenths. So the idea is you pop off the cowling, then you take off that nut under here, take off the nut down here, take off the nut over here, loosen up these two bolts down here. You can see them in there. Loosen up that one and that one. These are 5 sixteenths, and these are... Where's my... Uh, and those are 916 or 930 seconds. So
All right, we are taking off this plastic panel along here. When you get over to the left side, it's going to be a little tight fit. And part of the reason for that is there's a little uh, pin down here. That little pin right there goes up inside that hole. And it fits in there a little bit tight the first time. So when you cut over to this side, the other side comes off pretty easy. But if you come over to this side, it might be a little tight. But you can just put a screwdriver in here when this is up here tight and just pry it off. And the reason it's going to be tight is because this little guy here is up in that hole. And this right here is where your screw, I should say your bolt, goes in. So when you, after you take the bolt out, when you pry it out, this is what's preventing it from coming out here. It's this little bullet-shaped uh, pin that goes up in that hole. Same thing over here on this side. The cowling goes, the plastic goes behind here, but that's what you'll need to look at when you're taking it off. Okay, I might have mistakenly called those screws. All of the, uh, the, the things that hold this plastic in are actually bolts. This one down here is one size bigger than the ones that hold the plastic up. This is a 5 16 down here, so you'll need a ratchet in order to take these out and put them back in. Same thing with the outside ones, with these up here, except they're the next size down, and they're actually a 9 30 seconds. This is the front panel that you have to take off before you can get in there. You cannot take it completely off because the hood and the emergency brake cables and things go up here and you don't want to take those off because they're a pain in the butt. Therefore, you can't lay down here to look up in here. The, har the harness and the pieces where these go is up in here. But believe me, these pieces here, they're in a, they're in a little bracket up in here and they're a major pain in the butt to get to. If you look on YouTube or in a Hayes manual, the pictures you see are not going to be accurate because they're going to show those up in here where you can see them easily, and they're not. When you pull this panel off of here and you look up in here, the little bracket thing that those pieces are in is way up underneath here in the back, and you can't see it very easy. Now here's the thing, when you first take, when you first do this, when you get the cover off, and you first look up in here, that piece, which is right here, up in the back, not easy to see, is actually going to be farther back in that way. So I got to push it, I actually pulled it out a little bit, probably bent the little frame it's on, but if you push it back, when you first look, th look at this thing, it's going to be way up inside like that. It's going to be very hard to see because it's all black. You're going to be a lot of this by feel. But again, I just took my fingers, got a hold of this up in here. If I can block the sun. Anyway, once you get your hands around it, you're going to have to pull it out a little bit this way. Pull it out this way so you can actually get to it to get to the clip and everything. Be careful. I don't think I broke or damaged anything, but again, when you first start out, it's going to be tucked way up in here, and it's not going to be easy to see. Replacing a Ford 2002 F-150 pickup truck. 
This is the flasher, I should say the turn signal flasher relay. This is the relay you're going to be replacing. It's blue, if it's, if it's original. Be replacing it with the black one here. These typically are not in stock with a lot of auto places, so you might have to look around. This one right here is another relay that actually sits in front of this one. It's a little smaller, but it's a, um, I think it's called the flasher relay. But you'll have to pull this one out first before you can get to this one. When you take these out, make sure you write down or rememberize how they go in. In my case, the Ford label goes to the left. This is exactly how it was in when I pulled it out. So make sure you memorize that, and when you get the new one, you can line up the pins on the bottom the same way. And in this case, the writing is on the front facing me. So when I put this back in, I'm going to hold it like this, and I'm going to put it back in like that so the print is facing out. Make sure you write that down and make sure you remember how those pins go in because if you forget you're going to have a nightmare trying to stick that thing in and out trying to figure out which way it goes because you cannot see the inside of the device it goes into. Now that might not be the best video but that's looking only about two or three or four inches away from the bracket. The red piece here is part of it, but there's a, there's a, I'm sorry, right here, but there's a black panel right here, if you can see my finger barely, this thing goes over top of those, so when you first open it up and look, you're not going to see those, you're going to see this cover here with this little clip that goes over it, you have to unclip that and push it way up to get inside here to get to where the pieces are. And there's also another wire harness that goes over the top back here. You'll have to push out of the way. It is a pain in the butt, if you, but if you're careful, you can pull this whole mechanism here, this whole thing down here, you can pull this out a little bit to be able to unclip this, push it up far enough to get to it. And I'll pull that back so you can see where it's at. All right, we put the black one, we started to put it back in. As you can see, you got to put it in the back. This red part right up here in the front is where the other smaller one goes. The new one is in the back. You can see the clips there. It's not easy to get it in there, but once you get it in, it lays on top. Now you got to push it down. That's what it's going to look like once you get it in there. All right, here we are. I put the new one in. Make sure that it is, there's the cover. Make sure that it is flush down here. And you, you can get two fingers up here underneath it to push down to make sure that it's snapped in all the way. You can put your second hand underneath there to help hold this bracket if you can get a hand in there so you're not pushing down too hard. But again, there's the cover. You gotta hold that cover up and then push this piece here down in with two fingers on top and make sure it's all the way nice and flush and now I'm going to put the second piece in in front of it. Okay, we've got the second piece in. In this case, the cover is being held up here but here's the little one, or the little, what's called the, I think, again, that little flasher relay that goes in front of it. The other one is in behind it. So I've got that one in there now, nice and flush with the bottom. Then you got to reach up, take the cover here. You can 
kind of a pain to get it over it. Hang on. All right, here we are. We've got the two relays back in. This is the cover again up here. It's not really easy to get this cover to come back over the top. When it's up here, you're going to have to fiddle around it a little bit, make sure that they stay snug in there via relay. But th to get this to come back over the top is not necessarily easy. But once you get it back over, you just, you just clip it back down, make sure the clip here is clipped, and you're all set. Where's our device? It's actually right here. Back up in here. So when you first take this thing out, the side of the panel here, over here on the driver's side left, has a slot here, and that goes up behind this. So when you actually get the panel up close to where it's supposed to go back in, you'll have to put that You'll have to slide that back up underneath. As you can see here, it has to go back up underneath this rubber. When I put mine back in, it was a little bit tough to get that piece in there. So I had to take a screwdriver and reach underneath when I got it up close and used the screwdriver here to push up on that pin to get it to go into the hole there. So once this piece gets up here real close, you might have you might have to do that. When you're taking off or putting back the left, or I should say the right side here, when you put it up, and you look down in here, see that white piece down in there? That white piece right there? The bottom part of this down here has to has to push up over that. This piece down here, right there, that corner right there has to be able to pop up over that. So when you put it back in, you can put your hand, hands here in the uh, compartment and kind of pull that up so it pops up so it pops up over that piece in order to get up here where you got to screw it in right there. So be careful with that because it won't want to come up there real easy and you don't want to hit that piece down there. So just be real careful when you pull that up. But again, you'll have to pull this piece here up and up and out and up to get it over the uh, components in there. <laughs>